Hey you, I'm very sorry that you are dying from allergies, but if you could pause in your dramatic death for just a moment. Oh, that was the one highlight of the Little Shop of Horrors last night. It did not have the typical Little Shop ending. It had this super dramatic Shakespearean ending, which was just delightful. But I need you to pause in your dramatic death because it is Smart Ass and Sass Day. I did officially cancel this the other day, so there will not be any more coming, um, which doesn't really make me all that sad because the last two have been kind of crappy, but watch this one be amazing because that would be just like my life. So cut it open. Stop it, Liz, you're obnoxious today. Not gonna read it, but what is this month's theme? Guess who has their shit together? It ain't me, buddy. It ain't me. All right, let's see. Um, I got a free 30-day membership to Pilates on demand. Uh, my only demand for Pilates is no Pilates for me. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see what else is in here. So that sucked. Uh, spiritual as fuck. 99 inspirational cards for people who fucking need some inspiration. Uh, good thing they didn't actually censor this because, you know, that's been one of my biggest complaints is they censor their shit. And I'm like, why the fuck are you censoring shit? We're all adults here. All right, let's see. We're going to pull a random inspirational card out. See what inspiration the universe has for us today. Uh, your growth scares people who don't want to change. That is true. So what does the back say? Are you getting shit from people who think who you think should be cheering you on? If you thought of them as scared people instead of giant assholes, could you be more compassionate with them? Or at least let their current assholishness slide for now? Mmm, compassion. Tastes nice and minty fresh, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, there were some people who were kind of angry with me for leaving my job. And maybe it's just because I'm that asshole who says, I'm sorry that you did not make the life choices that enabled you to leave your job. But, um, you know, don't be a salty bitch, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Hocus pocus, I need to focus. This used to drive the fucking shit out of my crazy mind when I was in school. Hocus pocus, everybody focus. So fucking stupid. Stop it. You sound like a fucking idiot. Um, anyway, don't have to listen to that anymore. What is this? It's not weed. Uh, not that I know because I've ever actually seen weed, but you already heard my 420 story. Motherfuckers. Um, so I got like some broken crystals. Because, you know, crystals heal everything. Maybe, maybe these will heal my possibly cancer we have going on. Uh, and we have, this is probably some sage. They're probably going to tell me to burn it in my house and get rid of the bad energy. But I happen to love the men who live in my house. So we're not burning any sage up in here, bitches. Let's see what this janky little piece of paper says. So when Houston was homeschooling, we were studying the monks in the 1400s. And uh, we made our own paper in the blender, which was really fun. And it felt kind of like this. Plant this in your garden. Keep it moist. Watch it grow. I do actually kind of want to know what kind of little flowers would grow from this. So I think we're going to grow this. We'll have to check the little magazine to see exactly what is in this little baggie. But my guess would be sage just from the look of it. See, looks very sagey. I don't want to smell it because I do not enjoy the smell of sage. Okay, so some weird ass crystals. People who are using crystals to fix their problems do not have their shit together. Just need to put that out there in the world. All of this paper, and why is, I don't know. I don't, oh, shut up, Liz. Oh, I've been wanting to try this. Okay, so this is Chill the F Out, and it's supposed to be like um, a substitute for tea, and it's supposed to chill you out in the evening, so you don't need wine, and of course, I can't drink wine right now anyway, but it has organic cacao, organic coconut, organic ashwagandha, organic reishi, and peppermint in it, so kind of actually excited for this one. Um, It just, this smells like dirt. I'm not gonna lie, it smells like dirt. But I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna let you know if it works because ashwagandha is actually really good for chilling the fuck out. That's facts. All right, uh, some highlighters, and these are fun. Uh, who doesn't love a good highlighter? This one says, abso-fucking-lutely. 
and this one says hot damn uh, I don't know why I had to put all that inflection but I'm gonna put them back here in my happy little bin uh, most of it is Cricut tools and like a giant magic marker but nothing else okay what is this turns out I'm tough as shit this is true this is true I'm tough as shit stupid get out of here <laughs> all right what the fuck is this I don't know but we're gonna find out could it be a hair scarf I'm really into head scarves right now I don't know maybe if I lose all my hair I can wear head scarves and wigs every day is this it is it's some sort of weirdness um the stars nodded, the ocean agreed, the flowers chorused, bloom now, bloom free, rise again. This is kind of actually fitting because of, uh, you know, everything happening in my life right now. But it's kind of hideous, I'm not gonna lie. It's like this weird periwinkle blue. I don't even know if that's coming across on your personal device. It's like a cross between periwinkle blue and gray. And it's not super attractive but it might be great in my hair. You never know, because then nobody would see how silly it is. All right, a good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures for anything. Ha 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 ha, shut up. All right, so I think these are the pillowcases that were spoilered. Um, ew. So they were thrown out there as satin pillowcases, and no doubt this is satin, but it's like, that gross cheap satin that they made all of the almost the taffeta kind of satin right like the prom dresses in the 90s but it does say dear bed i love you and i do love my bed um i would stay in my bed all the time if i could except for you know going thrifting and going to be more scraps with you two things we still haven't done hmm not my fault because i am available every day Wonder whose availability we're waiting for there. Do not grow up, it's a trap. I tell this to everybody. Uh, I feel like this is another journal and I don't feel like I need any more journals in my life. I have journals up the wazoo and I hardly ever use them. I'm just not a journaly person, I guess. I don't know, let's open it though. See what it looks like on the inside. What the fuck, why did they seal it so well? Like, it's a journal, nobody, Whatever. Maybe in case the box got wet, I don't know. Okay, it's grid paper, which is fun. Who doesn't love grid paper? I have this opinion, it's just an opinion, mind you, that grid paper is superior to the plain lined paper. And I have my reasons for that that I'm not gonna go into because you'll say I'm batshit crazy, but grid paper is where it's at if you're gonna make a fucking journal. So we're gonna keep this it will get drawn in. Now, let's see what's with the weird broken crystals and almost definitely sage. Oh, look, they show us how to wear the head scarf thing. See that? It's gonna be great when I lose all my hair. Um, okay. Bum, bum, bum. They are pretending that this mirror decal cling is worth $8. Nobody in their right mind is paying $8 for this. I'm sorry, but I'm just throwing it out there. Spiritual as fuck deck, $16. I can kind of see that. Where in the fuck are these weird ass crystals, bitches? Literally not finding them. Oh, because they were on the first page and I didn't look at the first page. I'm stupid. It is the goddess crystal kit. This ritual kit was intuitively created to keep your shit together including rose quartz, the universal stone for healing, selenite, a stone for clarity and alignment, a crystal carrier, sage leaves, and wildflower seeded paper. Oh, what in the new age fuckery is that? I don't know. Okay, so that is my very last smart ass and sass. I do have this very exciting birthday unboxing for next week. Until then, your job is to not die from the allergies. Hopefully, I will see you on Friday afternoon, maybe before then, because, you know, we could get together literally any time, but not Cinco de Mayo, because I'm seeing Callie that day. Mwah.